222 day, we will talk about Casper, AI, and IBM, who has tons of connections into things like XRP, HBAR, XLM, Quant, IOTA, and XDC. Casper is an AI coin. It has requested to be added into the AI categories on CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko. And I consider it a dark horse in this upcoming crypto bull run, which is an opinion that an cash official shares as well. It has been picking up a lot of attention in relation to IBM Watson X, which has been advertised on Fox Sports and Brave AI has been receiving attention from CNBC. Casper will dominate the enterprise AI narrative. But really, we are starting a beta program. Um, you know, the Gartner webinar like wildly exceeded our expectations. We got 1,700 imprints. We've had 40 plus uh, Fortune 100, Fortune 500 companies sign up to be beta customers. Whether you, and it's completely free, just so everyone knows. So whether you're a company that's running an AI system, whether you're an enterprise that's really curious about using generative AI or are facing problems or have concerns about its risk and compliance, but really, is it true that the IBM, IBM sales team is going to sell Brave AI product? The, the answer to that is if the product meets uh, their internal, you know, technical requirements, et cetera, et cetera, and, you know, it meets the remit uh, uh, internally at IBM, the answer is yes. So let me, let me get very specific uh, on that. What I mean by the answer is yes is we have a bunch of agreements signed with IBM, both to be both for joint marketing efforts, as well as to be an embedded service uh, within, within IBM. Now, that means that at least all the, call it, legal foundation has been set for us to go after this market together. How exactly that turns out uh, in terms of how we go to the market, I would say, one, it comes down to quality of the underlying product. There, I think the, the risk of uh, failure is very, very minimal because we're co-developing it with IBM and therefore we'll ensure that it meets their internal technical standards. Uh, but And the second thing, uh, which is really exciting, is myself, Ross, Michael Doback, uh, someone who's working with us, uh, a gentleman named Jim Drill, are all meeting with senior members of uh, IBM early next week, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, really to map out what the go-to market beta program pricing, uh, et cetera, is going to look like uh, for this product. We're really excited that we have a bunch of beta customers already signed up who we can test all of these assumptions with. But basically to set down the staple assumptions, we'll be doing that early next week. We're incredibly excited about this. The World Economic Forum recently put out a paper on AI governance with IBM, which comes at an interesting time because at Davos 2024, Casper and IBM announced and even demonstrated their enterprise AI product. Casper has also announced Prove AI, which is an AI governance solution that enhances transparency and auditability for AI training data. It was built on Casper and directly integrates into the IBM Watson X governance platform. Here is a bit more on how that actually works. And then we can also see the prompts and responses that each of these gave. So what was a really, really complex problem that was hugely, hugely black boxed has now become easily auditable with a combination of the Watson platform and the Casper blockchain. So now that, now that she has this screen in front of her, and we're just showing two versions of the model here, but she would have an audit path for any session, any version of the model at any time. And because we talked about how IBM will be able to go to market with this Casper driven product, just imagine all of the companies that will tap into Brave AI, IBM, and Casper. After their webinar, over 40 companies signed up for the beta program. IBM does not randomly create products without any demand. 
and a bit more on what kinds of companies can get involved and have gotten involved. We have companies such as Visa, Accenture, Gucci, TD Bank, and Procter & Gamble. Brave AI is not IBM and Casper's first collaboration on enterprise-grade AI utility. The AI focus goes way back to IP we and the tokenization of IP in things like patents on C Casper. And I don't think that that is an idea and a product that is entirely dead. Just because of all of the ties in between IBM and Casper, I think that that is a product that is continuously being developed and will be rolled out in a different way. However, that is just my personal speculation on the topic.